Hi guys, it's Stacy from Clothes Live On. Today we are going to talk about what sold fast in January for me. And for the sake of trying to make this not a super long video, I am doing two days or less, but I had a lot of fast sales in January, so there's a lot to cover. Um, and they range in all sorts of platforms, pretty much every platform. I sell on had some fast sales so without further ado let's jump into it as always I will post screenshots next to me but um, I can't pull screenshots from Facebook marketplace just because it doesn't pull up like the original listing picture I've tried it a bunch of different ways and if I do any other screenshot it's going to have the buyer info which obviously I don't want to be sharing so um, I'm just gonna tell you what sold on Facebook and there's one Instagram sale that I'm just gonna tell you but other than that, you'll have screenshots. So first one was on Poshmark. I sold Acne Studios jeans. They sold for $23. I earned $18.40. And those sold the same day they were listed. Then on eBay, I sold Rag & Bone The Dre Jeans. For me, I don't pick up a lot of Rag & Bone. I've actually told you I've sworn off of it. But the Dre Jeans is a style that still does pretty well for me. They sold for $30. I earned $28.61 and they took one day to sell. Also on eBay, I sold a J. Crew cashmere cardigan. It sold for $30. I earned $26.28 and it sold the same day it was listed. Then on Poshmark, I sold a Beta Brand sweater. It was just a purple sweater. It sold for $20. I earned $16 and that sold the same day it was listed. Also on Poshmark, I sold a Unif X uh, Urban Outfitters sweater. It did have some pilling to it. It wasn't in great condition. It sold for $15. I earned $12 and it took two days to sell. First one from Facebook Marketplace is I sold a Freebird by Steven. They were heeled sandals that were like a red color to them. They sold for $65. I earned $61.09. Facebook does now take a fee on shipping orders, which is 5% of the total. So it's actually not of your selling price, which was a little like off-putting for me at first. So they don't take that fee off the $65. They take the 5% off of the total, which is the selling price the shipping cost even if you're using prepaid labels and the sales tax so like the sales tax and the shipping cost isn't money that goes into my pocket but it is money that Facebook takes a fee out of so technically it's higher than a 5% fee but it's still the lowest fee of any platform that I know of other than your own website um, I just wanted to note that though and those shoes took one day to sell also on Facebook, I sold a Long Longchamp duffel bag. It sold for $75. I earned $70.42, and that also took one day to sell. Then on Instagram, I just shared in my stories that I had found this Kate Spade novelty camera bag. It was really small. It was just like a 4x6 size, so super tiny crossbody. Um, but one of my friends actually loved it, so she bought it from me. So she bought it for $60 shipped via PayPal. So I ended up earning $47.42 after I paid for shipping in the PayPal fees. And it sold the same day since I had only put it in my stories. Next on eBay, I sold Rag & Bone Purple Legging Jeans. They sold for $20. I earned $18.06 and they took one day to sell. Then on Mercari, I sold Gymshark Energy Seamless Leggings. They sold for $32. I earned $27.57 and they took one day to sell. Totally forgot to add in here that I sold a Free People dress on Poshmark. It sold for $20. I earned $16 and it sold the same day it was listed. On Poshmark, I sold a Joie Blouse, which as a brand I'm really not picking up anymore, but I already had sourced that one. So it sold for $15. I earned $12 and it took one day to sell. Then on Poshmark, I sold a pair of Good American Good Waist Jeans. They sold for $35. I earned $28 and they took one day to sell. Also on Poshmark, and this is going to be a big thing that you're going to notice here, 
I sold another pair of Good American Good Waist Jeans. These, however, sold for $70. I earned $56 and they sold the same day they were listing. So for me, um, whenever I list Good American on the inside tag, all of the Good American jeans have a style number. I always 100% of the time look that up because even though I had two pairs of Good Waist, they were still different styles. One of them was more valuable in the resale market than the other and that's why they sold for such different prices. I think both of them sold for fair prices for what they were, but it's just something to keep in mind that not all good American jeans are created equal and have the same value. I pick up pretty much all of them because they do sell well for me, but some you can get a lot more money for than others. All right, Facebook, I sold a pair of American Eagle high rise jeggings. They sold for $25. I earned $23.41 and those sold the same day they were listed. Then on Mercari, I sold a pair of Nyamisole cropped leggings. They sold for $23. I earned $19.73, and those also sold the same day they were listed. An eBay sale, I sold a Peruvian Connection wrap dress. It sold for $30. I earned $26.51, and it sold the same day it was listed. On Poshmark, I just have one screenshot for you guys, but this person bundled two of the exact same Free People Beach Maxi Cardigan. I had one in gray and one in this taupe color, so they bundled them, bought both. Um, they bought the bundle for $40, so it was $20 each. I earned $16 each, and it took two days to sell because those were listed on the same day. Also on Poshmark, I sold Mother the Dutchie jeans. They sold for $60. I earned $48 there, and those took one day to sell. Then on eBay, I sold a Beta Brands men's jacket. I actually didn't realize Beta Brands sold men's items, so that was a new find for me. Uh, it sold for $20. I earned $17.89, and it took two days to sell. Also on eBay, I sold a pair of Gymshark Energy Seamless Leggings. So as you can see, that's a popular style. This style sold twice for me in two days or less this month. It's, that pair sold for $20, I earned $17.33, and it sold the same day it was listed. Also on eBay, I sold Rothy's The Sneakers in Sand. I think I mentioned this in my last haul video. So these were actually like stained when I found them. I did try to wash them. I sprayed them a little bit with like shout color safe kind, and then I followed the Rothy's instructions, which is to put them in the washing machine under cold water and then let them air dry. Um, I think they cleaned them up some, but there were still visible stains. Um, so I just sold them as is, but they sold for $75. I earned $62 and it took, it sold the same day. So that was nice. I think from, I shared the sale on Instagram and someone said that it's like their favorite color. It matches everything. So I think it's just a popular color of the sneaker and that's why it's sold super fast in spite of the fact that it was stained. All right, next is a Facebook sale. I sold a Lululemon brimmed beanie. It sold for $17. I earned $15.93 and it sold the same day it was listed. Then on Mercari, I sold a pair of tiki leggings. They sold for $24. I earned $20.60 and those again sold the same day they were listed. Everything that's left sold in two days of being listed. So we have five more sales, all of those sold two days after they were listed. First one is Mercari. I sold a pair of American Eagle high-rise jeggings and those sold for $23. I earned $19.73. Then my last Mercari sale for this video is Outdoor Voices Tricolor Leggings. They were um, a little dirty, a little flawed. They sold for $33. I earned $28.44. Then on Facebook, I sold a Patagonia vest. It sold for $38 and I earned $35.53. And my last two are eBay sales. First one, I sold American Eagle super high rise jeggings for $20. I earned $17.22. And then lastly, I sold Adriana Goldschmidt ex-boyfriend jeans. They sold for $30. It actually sold in a bundle with another item. Um, so they overpaid for shipping, so I still earned $30. It's a whole thing. I gave them a 
much lower price on the second pair of jeans since they were buying multiples. Um, but yeah, I basically earned what they paid in spite of shipping and stuff just because there was a little bit of an overcharge there. Um, but yeah, that's everything. So takeaways from this. American Eagle high-rise jeggings still sell really fast if you price them right. Um, across all platforms, nine of these sales were eBay, nine were Poshmark, so they were neck and neck for this month for fast sales. Um, Facebook had five of them, four were from Macari, and then one from Instagram. Um, I highly recommend if you are wanting to add a platform into your repertoire, like if you already do Poshmark and eBay, because I think a lot of clothing sellers kind of just gravitate toward those, Facebook Marketplace has been really, really good for me. It is a newer marketplace, so they're still, like, constantly learning. I think they're, like, Return policy, like if the buyer has an issue with the item, that's not good. I haven't had that issue right now. I've heard other people say though that if a buyer opens a case, Facebook will refund the buyer, take it out of the seller's account, and then they don't even notify them that it happened. So that's definitely a big flaw. There's not some like, you know, return case where you get your item back. Um, I, but like I said, I haven't had it happen to me. I've just heard of it happening to other people. It is something to keep in mind that since it's a newer platform, there are some things they're still working out. But I've had really good sales there. I've had consistent a lot of sales. It still does better for me than Mercari does, but Mercari picked up a lot in January for me. And I do want to do a video on that because I had said I was thinking about dropping it. But I think I like figured out what is working for me again on Mercari. And I just crossed over the $10,000 in earnings mark on Mercari. Um, it took me my entire reselling career to get there, but it was still quite the accomplishment. So I do think I'm going to do a little update video on that for you guys about like what sells on Mercari, selling strategies, and all of that. So that's something to look forward to. Um, if you guys have any other video requests, I would always love to hear it in a comment down below. I try and film anything that you guys ask to see, and I will talk to you later. Bye.